Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a background music for the game that will run over the whole game and even when you change the level it will be still there. For this I created three sound waves that just count up the numbers from 1 to 4, from 5 to 8 and from 9 to 10. So for this let's create a playlist you can say for the background music. So we go right click, sounds, sound cue. Let's call this background music. Open this up. And what we need here is we will take out the concatenator like this one and this goes into the output here. Let's add up one more pin here and then we just drag and drop the 1 to 4, 5 to 8 and 9 to 10 to create a playlist. Just connect this. So the idea is it start up with the 1 to 4 count and automatically change to the next one and the next one so you can create a very big and large playlist for the whole game as some background music. So let's save this and that's it here. The second thing is we need a game instance so we go blueprint class and search for game instance this one here select this and we call this music instance just for example, be sure that you go to the project settings, maps and modes and select on the game instance the music instance in this case. Open this up. So what we need here is we need a custom event for this. Let's create one and call this play background music like that. We go from here and say create 2D sound so create sound 2d so we go back here select our background music and put this right here and when we extend this you can see you can set up some changes so the sound here so the volume let's put this to 0.5 so that you can hear the background music but it's not annoying and we check the persisting across level transition to true that's very important that you hear the music between the level and the last part is we go from the return value and just say play. Like that. So that's it. For this one here, the last part is when you have your start level where your game started, you go to the blueprints, level blueprint. You can delete the event tick, but we need the event begin play, of course. From this, we say get game instance we cast to the music instance in this case, connect it. And then we just go from as music instance and say play background music. And that's it. So let's see if this works. We hit play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Great, so as you can see, he played the whole playlist even when we changed the levels. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.